Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, Ein Virgo Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th, 2018 And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you uh, once again that that will be a, a general reading for a uh, Virgo star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different way with every single different uh, Virgo. So uh, in this video uh, I will try to explain you uh, the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end uh, and also I'm going to give you a few examples but at the end you will have to uh, align the meanings of those cards with your personal uh, situation and to see how really this uh, reading resonates with you. Now if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me just like I am doing for the examples in this video, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video. <clears throat> And there uh, you are going to find a full list of my services uh, as well as their pricing. And also this is going to be an enhanced tarot spread which means that we are going to draw additional card per position. So just for the over overview of those uh, cards Virgo, I could say that this is going to be very harmonious week for you. And, uh, for what it seems, you will literally settle into one place and kind of like uh, consuming the whole the whole amount of harmony. I don't know how really to explain it, but you will enjoy or indulge yourself with the whole amount of harmony that you are going to have. Harmony either provoked because you have um, finally resolved a long time lingering issues or harmony because you made a, a very good decisions for yourself. Either way it seems that this week it is a, a week where you truly settle down regarding an unimportant matter uh, with your life. And now uh, with the lovers card we do have uh, the, uh, the world card. So uh, usually these cards on their own they are very positive but this, uh, this combination here it is classified as active enemies. <clears throat> and so what happens here actually even though they are active enemies it is very positive aspect, it happens in a very positive aspect. First thing it does shows that just <clears throat> that your settling uh, on the harmony and on the resolution of lingering issues it is just the start. I mean the whole the whole process of building up your environment or building up your empire if you want to say it that way is just has just started. <clears throat> and this state could reflect either your career, it could reflect either your relationship or it, or it could relate as well both. It is basically what happens here is that um, <clears throat> the lover's card does not, does not put an end or does not allow the world to put an end to your experience. So you do have an infinite amount of, of, of resolution and an infinite amount of harmony here. An infinite amount of good decision making that is however throughout the week. So it is very important that in this specific week um, <clears throat> Virgos, that you really take the initiative and try to resolve as much difficulties as you are facing as possible and make as much um, important decisions that you are to make as possible as well instead of postponing it uh, into the future. Not to mention here that the lover's card, if we go with its generic meaning, which is obviously a love, it does point uh, into that specific place however and especially for those who are heartbroken that you are yet to find the true love. So for those who are happy married that could as well mean that you are yet to find that face of your partner that you are gonna truly love so you you still have what to discover in your in your wife or in your husband 
all right that you are that you are gonna love the view even more for it and again for the heartbroken people these cards are pointing that you are yet to discover the true love so you should not give up on that front just yet but in a more practical level here as i said these are this is going to be a week where you are going to make a, a very good decisions for yourself that are going to grant you a lot of harmony uh, with your environment and as well are going to allow you to solve a much of a big issues for yourself so the core of the situation here ten of pentacles which is why that is happening with the tower card it is simply because you learned or you were uh, you you managed to uh, to to tame or to maintain or kind of like control a certain crisis a certain disaster that was to happen but you had the necessary resources as a time effort or if you want to say money as well and etc etc to tame control and restrict that um, <clears throat> that disaster or that transformation and to shape it the way you wanted to do it the way you want you wanted yeah to that transformation to take place so in reality you take advantage of the turmoil and of the chaos recently and you uh, kind of like traverse it to act in your um, to act in your favor really uh, so you can uh, basically exploit some weaknesses not of the people around you but most likely of the situation itself which allowed you to rebuild back your estate, uh, estate regarding that specific matter here in a way that you want to build it which gave you the opportunity here you know to either face the new a new love or to resolve issues and etc etc so literally uh, these cards here are pointing that if you passed a difficult time recently but that is over and thanks to that you have passed that difficult time now you have the chance to truly kind of collect the the rewards for that you have uh, went through that turmoil and you persevere Additionally here, however, the more organized you are and the more the, the bigger organization of your things and of your um, of your environment in general you keep up and maintain throughout this week and even not just throughout this week but throughout the rest of the year for that I can say is going to pay off in a big time by granting you more personal independence, better resources and as well is going to boost the confidence of others in you. So if you are after a promotion uh, then th this is a, a very potent combo here that we do have because your discipline and the ability to control the situations are going to show you very capable to make the tough calls, take responsibility for them, exert harmony, solve issues, you know, resolve problems. Basically, you are going to be the person in your career, for example, that does not explain the problems that the, the job has or the company has. You will be the person who solves them. You know, my I had one bo uh, a boss of mine before that every time you approach him with something, he says, I don't pay you to explain me what troubles you do have. I pay you to solve my problems, you know. So basically, you're going to be such a person if we're talking about career, of course. The next card that we do have, this is the challenges which are causing predicaments. We were fortune with a d7 of wands so yet we do have some uh, uh this is definitely regarding to people all right we do have some people that will try to block your uh progress moving on forward and it's kind of like uh, obvious here with these cards that you should not make any progress yet right now as we said you should contemplate and uh, uh, indulge with the current harmony you have so let those people bang their heads against the wall let those people plotting upon a thing that they have no clue how should they react because remember you are the one who controls the chaos you are the stronger one because you know about the theory of the chaos only the weakest people in the world seek order the strongest they do prefer to rule the chaos. And so you are going to be such a person. You will be able to call the shot. You will be the one who dictates the rules 
of the game in general. So uh, by a predisposition here, those people which are trying to sap and block your progress, they have no chance whatsoever. It is just throughout this week, instead of you wasting time, efforts and energy to show them that, it will be best that you leave them to do that on their own accord, to see that there is no point being in opposition because your positions are already consolidated and strengthened and literally there is nothing that can knock you off those positions <clears throat> and uh, again instead of wasting time and energy to show them that but leaving them to see it for their own accord you know uh, you should spend your time kind of like experiencing the joy and the glee from the results that you have uh, that you are to achieve based on the previous crisis managing uh, or crisis management that you were able to incorporate uh, either into your career or either into your relationship additionally what we have um, what we have here uh, on from another hand seeing that could be a, a trap that someone is trying to place in front of you kind of giving you an opportunity which uh, by its default it's uh, it, it's kind of like impossible to be achieved and if that's the case then this person here is going to or this uh, society of people is going to withdraw information from you just so they make you think you know that actually what uh, that opportunity they are presenting to you it's an, an awesome opportunity while in reality is something that uh, it's, it's basically uh, empty and it's, it's futile so again throughout this week it will be uh, it will be again important only to stick to what you know to be true instead of jumping into a, a into a fallacious uh, fallacious proposals and a fallacious statements as well alternatively the will of fortune and the seven of wands it may point that uh, you may kind of like expand your environment but that is going to uh, severely jeopardize the current progress that you already have and why you should not kind of strive for new um, for new enterprises it, it is really displayed here with the six of wands which is accompanied with the page of wands and these cards are pointing that you still have so much work to do in the already existing uh, and existing enterprises of yours that are not yet developed uh, entirely and fully so why you would want to basically involve yourself with even more responsibilities when you are yet to uncover the full potential of the current responsibilities of yours or of current endeavors of yours now these cards here are pointing about the huge potential the page of wands it is showing that you have just barely scratched the surface of how much yields you can uh, you can attract by even uh, indulging even more with your projects either into your career or either into your relationship six of wands here is showing that should you put the work behind it you will definitely get the results and you will get definitely get not the results excuse me the results are granted to you uh, but if you don't stray from the path that you have taken a couple of weeks ago into a new one which people want you to do so they deprive you from the success that you are after but these cards here are pointing that you are going to get the uh, the rewards from your effort and also you will be able to establish a severe milestone additionally the page here points that some of your demands and some of your ideas that you do have are going to be met with a great portion of understanding and uh, I will not be surprised if you Virgo are about to start a a project based on your personal idea that you have given uh, given a, a couple of weeks ago either to your partner into your uh, relationship or either to your boss into uh, into your career so uh, in generally uh, a very a very positive week here I mean we could have um, the uh, 
the regaining, the process of regaining back the faith, you know, that you are going to find love, even though you may have people here that are trying to convince you otherwise. Uh, that could be a, as well, a, a process where you stabilize your relationship. Let's say that your relationship is about to break. Well, you are about to pick up the pieces and rebuild your relationship back together this time around regarding your image or in the same time that could signify a, a very strong progress into a, a project that everybody else failed in but you were the one who uh, who was able to put in an exceptional work uh, behind it and for that reason you are going to be rewarded for your toils. So that was the tarot reading uh, for you Virgo. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are about to show us is a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right. So the first one that is the sun and the sun is a card of a great amount of luck and a huge portion of success. So we do have a confirmation that that is going to be very very successful week for you should you not strain from the path that you have taken a couple of weeks ago or a month ago. Then the next one this is a about the sh this is the ship and the ship is associated with venture, is associated with traveling, associated with afar and as well <clears throat> we taking a risk and the last one this is going to be the bucket and the bucket is associated with benefits as we said here you're about to get the, re the, the rewards of your, of your labor and recognized for your exceptional work either regarding career or regarding relationship the bucket is exception a is um, <clears throat> is associated as well with uh, with gifts so uh, literally these cards could be translated as you are going to receive a gift of traveling for example uh, your husband uh, one day surprises you throughout the week surprises you that they have booked a tickets or a vacation in I don't know Hawaii for example or in Europe I don't know uh, or this could be a that a, a very risky maneuvers have been uh, uh, have ended with a great portion of su success for which you are to get the rewards of it. In either case, uh, Virgos, you will get a, uh, some rewards, some benefits this week. And of course, you have to be a, a kind of like... You have to be uh, a, a very determined on, on the path of those benefits and you should not try to strain from it or you should not listen to those which want you to strain from that, uh, from that path. <clears throat> so that being said, uh, Virgos, this was your uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading and once again this was just the general reading for Virgo star sign and uh, for that reason these cards or this reading is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Virgo. If you want um, your situation to be analyzed uh, by me through tarot cards then that will be a, a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now, see you next time, bye!